Hi guys, my name is Caesar, and in this video I will show you how we can create a nice 3D lettering in Fusion. So let's start. I will add a 3D test here. I will add a render 3D and a merge 3D. So this is the basic. So let's connect everything. All right. So on my test here, I will type something. Say Fusion 3D and I will change for some nice font. That's it. Done. Now I will press one here and just make sure you have lighting enabled. Okay, and just over here. Okay, so let's start with this first one. Go for extrusion. Made it a little bit, not too much, something like that. Subdivisions, let's say 10. And here put 0, 3 and level width 0, 3. Just for bring some details here. That's it, all that I need. I will press F2 and call this glass. Test glass. And instead of having just one text node, I will duplicate more two times to create a more interesting 3D text. Make the extrusion bigger, something like that. And this one will be F2, test, middle. And Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V, I duplicate one more time. I will change the order for keeping my nodes organized. Let's connect. And this one will be the stroke. So F2, stroke. And now for the stroke, I will do is in deep, I will put 0, 1, 000, 0, 1 and make this larger and extrusion a little bit larger and bring on the top and now this setup is done and we have a nice 3d text to work so let's move on to the lights when we are working with 3d lighting is one of the most important thing so if your 3d work looks bad check your lights this may be the reason So, let's go for render, click in the render node, let's change for OpenGL render and enable lighting and shadows and super dark, no problem. So, at this point, I don't want to add any color to my composition because I, I will focus just in the light and you will see why. So, I will add a, a spotlight here. And I will take another merge 3D. We can connect in the same, but I prefer keep just for my organization. I prefer separate. So I will connect light my light here, spotlight. Let's move. A little bit more, something like that. We'll put on top. Just rotate something, go back from the top, and this will be my main light. Also, I will add a camera. And zoom out so I can see my text much better. And now, with my spotlight selected, I will change the K type for linear. So now it's much more natural and make the first adjustment. I will make closer. I will take drop off a little bit more and penumbra angle I will make bigger. So this make like a nice transition here. And 
even close something like that and they cut it just a little bit more I guess um, adjust me so this is the main line for now that doesn't look good and it, it's okay so let's talk about shadows this is super important so if you can see here my shadows are very bad are not are not good also this is very hard pixelated so how we can fix that so we click in spotlight came here in shadows and softness change to constant so now look at how different it is everything is very smooth look look here this corner so if i change again really bad and really bad now before i adding more lights i would like to do is i will put my camera in the exact position that i really need have a lot of ways to do something like that uh, I will click in the camera, go in transform, I will select use it target. Now if I move the camera, the camera is always looking for the same point for the target. So let's let's pick some nice view here from the camera. Maybe something like that. Or maybe something like that could be good. and it's too big and i will change my focal length to 20 millimeters so let's start adding lights here i will click on effects and add a point light okay let's move this on the corner and connect my point light and let's fix here. I will put just on the top, bring down and change for linear for make more soft lights. Go to shadows, clicking constant. So we have these nice shadows. Okay, so let's pick a bit a good position. Maybe over here turn down the intensity is way too much something like that ctrl c ctrl v you duplicate this light and put over there okay so now if you look close you see we have these nice shadows is very clean is nothing too much have you add some light on on the front now let's go back to, to monitors and let's add one more ctrl c ctrl v and just put on the front for this one i would like just highlight the letter so let's turn down the intensity and find the best spot maybe it's over here okay and maybe some light just here in this corner because it's very dark so I put this light here this light here ctrl c ctrl v let's move let's find that this light is super bad position and here we go so now we have our test here and lightings and if you can see at this point 
without add any color we have a nice lighting so so we can see is everything smooth nothing crazy nothing sharp this is that i'm looking for this part is completely done so let's move on and start adding colors so i will select a stroke and clicking shading and maybe black i will avoid like a very dark because i want to see details okay for the middle i will click in pick some red color that's it and let's keep it white for now everything works fine very soft lighting now for make this better i would like add some texture to my test so i will click in the glass shading turn down the alpha a little bit maybe 0 0.6 <coughs> so make transparent like em emulate something like a glass and i will click in type image so now i can add some image for the texture i will come here to my texture and i pick this this one that i like it and just connect on the top and see what's happened this happens because is too small because the texture is small no problem i just need to add a transfer node and rescale oh it's not connected here we go. and and now i have a texture here it's very soft but this is that i'm looking for i'm not looking for nothing crazy i will turn let's change here maybe something like that and now i have something that i like i can even repeat for the middle just go for shading change for image just connect over the top and use the same so this give a very simple texture that is good for the stroke i will do the same change for image but i will pick up a different texture maybe like that this match is way dark no problem maybe clear and specular just turn down a little bit so this now i can see better and i will add a transfer node and rotate make bigger and now i can see i can find the best spot also i will click again and change to word so this applies to everything now we have some nice texture here nothing crazy now i have this texture and at this point is almost done so let's add some background let's take this better so let's move media out let's create a background here let's add a merge node connect the 3d and here we go for the background let's change to gradient radio and i will just invert the colors here here we go so for the black one just turn down and this will be like a and gray something like that and this one dark no 
Okay. Here it is. Not bad. Now we can do something better. Now we, if I can, I can go back here for my test. Let's make it bigger. Let's return to glass. Go to test and make it make the extrusion is too much. Make something like that. Just a little bit. Here we go. And now I like more. And maybe change the color for red to see what happens. Yes. Look is good. So maybe something like that. And the middle could be a dark red. Looks too dark at this point. We can we come back here let's add more light i just need one spotlight on the front effects a point light Maybe this one let's connect it's way too much so linear let's go for shadows constant Turn down the intensity and let's find the best spot for this light. Maybe here could be a good spot. So now I can see here it's a nice details. Okay, so this is good. Now let's move on. Let's take all of this here and let's click in render, the last node. Click in effects, search, let's say, click in templates, chromatic aberration. And just a little bit more. And I would like to make another one. I will go for blur. Take directional blur. Make something like that. And I will apply a mask on the top. Let's invert the mask and make it the edge very soft like so we have a good transition here something like that just want some movement and at the very end so it's done of course have a room for much more improvements but this is the main idea so just pay attention to lighting and combine more than one text node to creating something more interesting so i hope you like this video if you like please subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one bye